Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. That my name's Chuck, KK6USY for Ham Radio Adventures, and I just got a new toy that I've been playing with, uh, a 3D printer, and I just wanted to show you how to make this a CW key. And let's get started with this. It's a pretty easy build. Okay, here's here's all the parts for this uh, CW key. Yeah, you need a plug, and if you're using it for a bigger type radio that uses a bigger plug, you have to use an adapter or or build it on that on that size. This is going to be for my KX2 most likely, and I have adapters also, so I can use it on other radios. Now, it uses a micro switch. <laughs> this thing is tiny. And then on the back, I don't know if you can see them. There's four little prongs there. Now what you do is you bend two of those prongs in a 90. And then I'll show you what it looks like in here. And then it goes into here. The two, there's two, there's two switches here. And they basically, instead of using a grounding pole where it grounds to a, a pole, you're using a grounding switch, okay? It's an open switch that grounds when you push it in. All right. So what, what he's done is taken one on each side and these are a nice tight fit. These are six millimeter, six millimeter. And it, his, his descriptions there in the, uh, instructions, but he doesn't say what size. And I just kind of guessed. So those, those two that you bend over, go down here and you bend them over and that holds it in. It's still pretty tight. It's a tight fit in here. I don't think it would fall out, but that just keeps it from falling out. So you don't use these. So what we're going to do the keys, um, the handle, the handles come out here. So what we're going to do is we're going to, the ground is going to go across these two here. And then we're going to hook a wire to this side and a wire to this side. Let me just get that closer for you. So we're going to ground the bottom one that way. And then the two top ones, the other wires go to, all right. And this is the top of it. It's a pretty, it's pretty lightweight. What I did notice, and, and I don't know if I can fix this later myself, because I'm, I'm really new at this, but these sides are kind of weak. And I did notice when you squeeze it, sometimes it actually keys the, the key on one side only though, for some reason. This is a, this is the very bottom. It's made to run some magnets and some uh, rubber feet into either he says two magnets and two rubber feet, or you can do all rubber feet, whatever you want, or you can do all magnets. And then you have these. And it just all screws together. It's a pretty easy build. Um, the hardest part is when you, oh, here's the five screws. It takes five screws too. And they are a, um, like a flush mount screw, like a bugle head type. Okay. And it also takes two that go in this back section here for adjustment. Unfortunately, you need a, um, a set screw, not a regular screw. It doesn't need, it, it can't have a head on it because it's, or the head has to be, I could grind one of these heads down maybe, but they were hitting each other when I tried it. And that sets your distance away from the, uh, the gear from the uh, switch. So you can get them a little bit closer, a little faster. What we're going to do is we're going to solder the wires to this here first. And then, um, and then start putting things together and it's, it's a pretty easy build. You just got to make sure your screws that hold these in, just make sure you, you kind of have to adjust them not to get too tight. He says to use a little bit of, uh, oil on them too. And I haven't tried that yet. I've just, I kind of basically threw this together real quick to see if it worked. And now we're going to wire it. I already have my wire stripped. So I'm just going to set this in here. I'm going to have to get my glasses on for this part. Uh, 
the first thing I'm going to do is, um, actually, I'm going to get something to cut this with here. Hang on. I'm going to shorten this ground wire a little bit. Okay, so that ground's going to go across these two here. I'm just going to kind of lay it on there like that. Just like when you weld, the tiny stuff is the hardest stuff to do. Basically, we're just building a bridge across this one. These two, well, actually these two, I should say. This thing's so light that the wires, it goes wherever the wires want it to go, so. All right, took a little longer than it should have, but uh, I'm gonna clean some of this off too. All right. These already have some solder on them, so hopefully they'll stick. It did. And yes, that is getting warm. All right, now he says to run, there's holes in the bottom of this to run a, uh, a wire tie through, and I'll, I'll do that later. But what I'm going to do is hook this into my radio, and hopefully you guys can hear it. Let's see if it works before we go any further. Okay, we're on monitor. Hopefully you guys can hear that. So it works. All right, so I did kind of move these. They're, they're solid. They don't look great, but they're not gonna go anywhere because this is gonna just 
Bitcoin side. So the first th the first thing you do here is um, you have two two screws here, and these two here, and this goes like this. So it goes on there like that. Okay, that screw goes on, that goes on there like that. Then the other one goes on this side. And then basically you can kind of, you have to hold them in, hold your screws in there for now. And this top goes on there and you just, you have to feed these through these two things here. And just put this over the top and then the wire goes out the back here. Let's just go in there, screw that down, and I just kind of snug them up a little bit to start with. Come around here, and you, you got to be careful not to push in. That's actually keying it right there, so I'm going to hold the top. So that's still working pretty good. I'm going to go just a little tighter. Because that takes, you can only go so tight with these because you're basically you're threading these, these uh, screws into the plastic. Okay, so the next part is this goes on. And if you see the four holes here, and this, these two holes here and the two holes back here are to adjust. If you, if you have the set screws in there, that's that you, you can resue there to address, adjust everything and not have to take it apart. And same with those two screws there that I, did, that I just adjusted. So basically, now you just throw these on here. Sorry, it's really going to be hard to see. This thing's pretty small. It's really, really light, too. I forgot to weigh it, but I've got another one that's um, almost the same size, but it weighs quite a bit more for some reason. I, 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 didn't, I only weighed this one without the screws. So this is uh, it's a pretty nice little design. The guy lives in, he's, uh, lives in Italy. He designs a lot of really nice stuff on that site, and if you just take his call sign and throw into Thingiverse, it'll bring up all the different things that he uh, designed. He also has a business that um, he sells a lot of stuff too. Now this, I printed the uh, everything but the 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 handles here. And in one thing, and I'm going to show you. A, it was like four hours. It was like three hours and fifty minutes to do those. It was what, one, two, three, four pieces. Three pieces, and um, I'll show you that printing. Yeah, maybe you haven't seen printing before. I was, you know, but it's going to be a time lapse. So it only lasts like fifteen seconds. But the whole thing, it's a pretty easy build. I mean, the hardest part's holding those wires together. And I guess if you had some little tweezers or something, or you could hold them there a little tighter, probably. And I, and I would probably do them up more and then bend them down. They're going to have to be bent down to a point so they don't, so like everything clears inside. So this is getting nice and tight here now. I just bring them till they get snug. And all the while, it's a little wide right now, so um, eventually I'll get the little set screws, or I'll either that or I'll grind the heads down on those so they don't hit each other. But that's it. That's it. It's a pretty easy build. The hardest part's getting the uh, unless you don't if you don't have a printer, get find somebody that can print it and uh, do it myself. I am gonna I am gonna give a buddy of mine, Ed one of these and those this was kind of a way to show him how to put it together i'm sure he could figure it out anyhow he's pretty good at that kind of stuff well thanks for watching and uh i'll probably have a, an exit to this thing and if, if you guys want to see a little closer
and there's the holes that you can put magnets or or some rubber feet on it okay once you have the parts for that uh, key it's pretty easy to assemble uh, and I will put a link down below how uh, uh, the, the the designers call sign and a thingiverse to that uh, that key so you can download that if you have a printer yourself a pretty nice little key a little thin on the sides um, if you could make the th sides a little bit thicker it'd probably be a little a little sturdier and not uh, intermittently key that thing so hey if you got something from this uh, don't forget to hit that like button uh, hit the subscribe if you're new here and then hit all so you get all my new videos this is Chuck kk 6 usy for Ham Radio Adventures Thanks for spending your time with me, and uh, 73 is all. Catch you on the air.